Hey guys, are you seeing the error establishing a database connection notice on your WordPress website? It is a fatal error that makes your WordPress website inaccessible to the user. This error occurs when WordPress is unable to make a connection to the database. A number of things can affect your WordPress database connection which makes a bit difficult for your users to access your website. So in this video, I will show you how to easily fix error establishing a database connection in WordPress. So there are many possibilities that can cause error establishing a database connection in WordPress. So I will show six fixes that can be useful while fixing this database connection error in WordPress. Okay, so first is check WordPress database credentials. So sometimes while editing WP config file, you might have updated the database connection values like database name or username or password. So let's go to your WordPress and here you can find wp-config.php. Here you can see in wp-config.php file. Here the database name is wp. Let's double confirm. So go to your PHP my admin. In my case, it is localhost. So you can access your localhost WordPress database. Here the database name is wp which is correct. The database username in my case is root. So by mistake, I have given root123 and let's see if it is fixing. No. Still something is wrong. So database name is fine, username is fine, but database password should be a blank empty in local localhost. So once you fix that, you will see the database connection error is gone. Okay, so let's see. It should load your WordPress without any error. It is localhost, so sometimes it takes some time to load, but ideally it should work. So let's confirm the database host name. So the while it uh, reloads, second fix is check your database host information. So right now um, the WordPress is uh, on localhost. So in WP config file, the host name should be localhost. So when you have your website hosted on some uh, hosting provider like GoDaddy or something else, the host name should be some value, some IP or some value should be there and it should be correct value. So you need to check if host name is correct. So right now it is localhost. Let me update and it should again, again crash. So in this case, we will see um, the database server at localhost 12 could not be established. Okay, so you can get idea what error is there. Third fix is repair WordPress database. So sometimes while uh, your WordPress development or after that as well, um, if you are getting a different error on WP admin, for example, something like one or more database tables are unavailable. Okay. So the database may need to be repaired. So how you can do that to repair, go to your WP config file. Here, before the end of the file, let's say here, okay, here, what you can do, you have to define one constant, the name of the constant is WP allow repair and make value to true, okay, so using this constant what we will try to repair our database okay so right now my database database is fine there is no repair needed 
but sometimes you might need it so let's see how we can do that go to your wordpress admin here after wp admin write mint main and repair.php enter once you enter this it will show one page saying that wordpress can automatically look for some common database problems and repair them okay so click on repair database once you click it will show you the report you can see all tables are fine okay repairs com repairs completed please remove this line from wp config to prevent this page from being used by unauthorized users okay let's go back and there is another option wordpress can also attempt to optimize the database this will improve performance in some situations okay so you can also click repair and optimize database and it will give you some a report okay so it, it is showing that failed to optimize user table because there is no content in my local database okay so there is no optimization needed so once you do that what you can do you can either remove this or comment it out so let me remove this line and go then it will show you that to allow this page to be automatically repair database you have to add this line into wp config file so now we are done so we we need to remove this line from wp config.php okay so this was about repair wordpress database one fix also is possible with update wordpress site url so it can be done from database so if you are uh, your website is on GoDaddy or any other hosting service provider. You can go to cPanel or somewhere when you where you can access your database. Normally, you can access your database uh, using PHP MyAdmin, and in PHP MyAdmin there are multiple tables. So you have to open WP Options. So click on WP Options. Sometimes in WP Options, this site URL value is not correct one. So in this case, we have localhost slash WP and site URL value is localhost slash WP, which is correct. So there is no change required here. But sometimes when uh, migrating your website from uh, localhost to uh, your domain or migrating from one host to another host, you might need to update the site URL as well as home URL. So this is another point that you can consider. So the fifth point is you need to check if your database server is down so if everything seems to be correct and wordpress site cannot connect to the database then your database server it means my mysql server may be down and what is the possibility this could happen due to heavy traffic on a server basically your host server just cannot handle the load okay so your site will get really slow and for some reason or for some users it may even output this database related error okay so the best thing you should do is to get on call or to chat with your uh, support hosting provider support and ask them to uh, restart or repair the mysql server okay so I think uh, this is not required most of the times but sometimes when your server is down the database server is down you might need to check if database server is down and get it up for your website okay and last point you can do is reboot your web server okay so users on dedicated servers or uh, local server right now I am on localhost and a virtual private server can try rebooting their server so this will restart your web and database server which may fix some temporary issues or glitches causing this database related database related error so in this video we saw we try to explain six possible fixes to fix the error establishing a database connection in wordpress so if you are new to my channel please visit my channel there are more than 245 videos uploaded and most of the videos are related to javascript css 
many videos are related to wordpress as well few videos are related to node.js and a few are on react as well so please visit my channel if you enjoyed this video please like this video hit the like button if you want to see more videos hit the subscribe button and if you have something to say please leave comments below that's all for this video guys bye